Hi everybody, I'm Photo Joseph, a Lumix Luminary, and the G9 has just been announced, and I wanted to take you through some of the highlighted features of it. This is going to be a short video just going through the main bullet points. However, we will be discussing the camera at large on the show, Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, which, depending on when you're watching this, will either be coming up or will have already happened. Just click the link right here to check out that video. So let's get through the main features of this brand new camera, the Lumix G9. First up, the 20.3 megapixel live MOS sensor lacking an anti-aliasing filter. This means that the images will be incredibly sharp. This is the same sensor type that is in the Lumix GH5. Next up is a big one, quite literally, an 80 megapixel sized feature. This is created by synthesizing images from the sensor itself as it shifts around in the back of the camera, creating an 80 megapixel JPEG or RAW file. This is ideally used for landscape or product photography when the camera can be stabilized on a tripod. Next up, six and a half stops of image stabilization. That is significantly more than the GH5. This is of course designed for not only extreme low light photography, but also with a very long lens. This allows you to hand hold up to around an 800 millimeter equivalent lens. That's a pretty long lens to hand hold. Next, Panasonic is claiming the world's fastest autofocus speed at 0.04 seconds. That is very fast autofocus for still photography, so any action wildlife photographers are going to really appreciate that. Next up is 20 frames per second shooting with continuous autofocus. That is absolutely incredible. 20 frames per second as your subject is moving around the scene, and 60 frames per second if you don't need to follow focus. So if you have a subject that is moving in place, for example, like a dancer, you can shoot them at 60 frames per second at full resolution in both RAW and JPEG. That is phenomenal, and all this happens without any viewfinder blackout. Next up, the G9 is boasting the largest in-class LVF, that's a live viewfinder magnification, of a 1.66x, that is a 0.83x in a 35 millimeter equivalent. What this translates to is a really, really big image in your viewfinder. Next up is night mode and AF point scope function. Now the night mode is for shooting at night where you are in a obviously low light situation and you don't want to have a bright viewfinder in your eye. It keeps a very low level illumination on the EVF or on the LCD on the back of the camera. And the AF point scope is for verifying critical focus on subjects that are really, really far away. It is, of course, splash, dust, and freeze-proof all the way down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. That's, that, that's, that. hey Siri, what is minus 10 Celsius in Fahrenheit? Minus 10 degrees Celsius is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. 14, that's cold. Next up, the largest in-class status LCD. That is a brand new feature on a Lumix camera, an LCD on the top of the body. We'll take a look at that in just a second here. Of course, support for dual UHS-2 SD card slots, and just like with the GH5, you can set that to shoot so they're redundant, capturing to both cards simultaneously, or have it spill over from one card to the other. And finally, the USB power supply capability. This means that you can power the camera from an external USB power source, which is something I know is going to make a lot of folks really, really happy. Next, let's just take a quick look at some photos of the camera. You can see the drive mode dial with the red band on it. That is something new for Lumix, a nice designation, really highlighting the camera there. We see the status LCD on top of the camera, the huge LVF, the front dial and buttons, same as we see on the GH5, and also a new FN lever, which honestly, I'm not quite sure exactly how that works yet. I haven't seen it, so it'll be interesting to see what we can do with that. Now, the G9 wasn't the only thing that was announced this morning. There was also a brand new lens, the new Leica 200mm f2.8 lens. That is a big, beautiful, fast lens for all sports and action photographers. I think this is going to be a beautiful addition to their collection. This lens also features a few switches on the side to toggle between autofocus and manual focus or your power optical image stabilization, as well as a customizable button that allows you to do a variety of things from the side of the lens directly. Plus, it also includes a 1.4x teleconverter. This is included in the box, allowing you to extend your reach with this lens without having to buy any additional hardware. So there you have it, the Lumix G9, the latest camera from Panasonic, really focused on the still photographer. We'll of course be talking about this camera a lot more on the show if you tune into Photo Joseph's Photo Moment every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning live right here at youtube.com slash photojoseph at 9.30 a.m. Pacific. And if you can't catch the show live, check it out anytime at the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash photojoseph. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.